Hello everyone, myself Sai Prasad, a lecturer in Ahlabad High School and the Junior College. Welcome to a series of the lectures of 8th class maths. We have started a chapter of frequency distribution table and graphs. What did we learn in this? We started with the basic discussion about the measures of central tendency that is finding mean, median and mood. Okay? Today we are going to continue the discussion with a new topic that is frequency distribution. What is this frequency distribution? He will give this kind of data. Just we have to calculate, we have to find, uh, we have to limit it to something and we have to check how many numbers are there between that. For example, there are these are all numbers between uh, 15 to 30 like that. Just divide into 15 to 18, 18 to 22, 22 to 26 like that. Then count how many numbers are there. Okay, shall we do? See here. Here he is telling there are 30 students in a class in which he is asking us to construct frequency distribution table. Frequency is how many times it is repeating. Okay. Within the CI of 4, a class interval of 4. Okay. Now how do we draw is first write class interval then write tally marks then write frequency ok now check here which is the least number here 18 uh, the next 16 then 15 15 is the least number so take 4 numbers after 15 15 16 17 18 19 because 19 minus 15 will be 4 that means you have to write between 15 and 19 15 to 19 ok right after that 19 to after 19 20 21 22 we have to write 23 this 90 is included here but not here and the next 23 to 23 24 25 26 up to 27 ok after 27 27 28 29 30 27 to 27 28 29 30 31 ok Again, still uh, there are more numbers 31 to 31, 32, 33, 34 and 35 and the next 35 to 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Still any number 40 is also there. After 39, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Clear? Is it okay? Now check. How many numbers are there between 15 and 19? Check 15 and 19, 1. Okay, and the next 15 and 19, check only those numbers, do not think of other numbers. 15, 2, and the next again 16, third one, and then 15, fourth number. After that, 18. How do we cut it? Okay, that will be my fifth number frequency is 5 ok next 19 to 23 19 is included here do not worry right 19 to 23 1 19 to 23 2 19 to 23 is 20 is there 22 is also there ok again one more number fifth one ok and the next 19 to 23 this is one more number again 19 to 23 this is one more number ok oh we have left 18 in the previous one write 6 here ok only till 5 we can write in tally marks that is 1 2 3 4 fifth one cross it again 2 more are there therefore it is 7 fine Next, 23 to 27, 23 to 27, 1 and the next 2 and the next 3, next 23 to 27, 4, next 23 to 27, 5 and the next 6, fine, next 27 to 31. 27 to 31, 1, ok, and the next 27 to 31, 2, 
27 to 31, 3, 31 is not included here, remember. And the next 27 to 31, 4, next 27 to 31, 5, okay, next 31 to 35. Now count 1, 2, 3, 31 to 35, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And the next 35 to 39. Now next check where are those. 35 to only 39 items. Only one number. Fine. Is it clear? We didn't miss anything anywhere right. Next 39 to 43. Only one number. Is it clear? Did you understand? Now. We have to add all those things. What do we get? 2, 12, 24, 31 we are getting which means we have added something extra. Now again check 5, 15 to 19. How many are there? 1 and the next uh, where is next number? 2, okay, 3, 4 and 5. There are only 5 numbers. We have added something in between, right? Now tell the total is 30. You have to check it all the time. Okay, now is this 30 same? Yes, right. The only thing we have to remember is we have to draw this table. Clear? Did you understand? Shall we move on to the next problem? Let's do. Look at the question here. He is asking, there is a given table. He is asking to construct the class interval of the data. Right? Before he gave some kind of ungrouped data which means he gave randomly and he is asking us to construct the table. Here he gave for a particular number okay then he is asking us to construct the class interval then he is asking us to construct less than cumulative frequency and greater than cumulative frequency. What is this cumulative? Shall we do? See here remember how do we do this class interval you have to remember okay how do we do first find the difference 22 minus 10 that is called as class length okay first of all find class length okay that is 22 minus 10 how much is it 12 this is taken as h okay H is 12, then the lower limit, upper limit, how do we calculate is lower limit is always taken as, see here, this 10 minus H by 2 and the next 10 plus H by 2 will be our upper limit, okay, that is lower limit is 10 plus H by 2, I mean 10 minus H by 2, upper limit is 10 plus h by 2. What is it? 10 minus h by 2 means 10 minus 6 that is 4. Here 10 plus 6 that is 16. Therefore, my class interval is 4 to 16. Clear? Just add 6 and subtract 6. Now tell me 22 minus 6 is 16. 22 plus 6 is 28. Again 34 minus 6 is 28. 34 plus 6 is 40 and the next for 46, 46 minus 6 is 40, 46 plus 6 is 52 okay and the next 58 minus 6 is 52, 58 plus 6 is 64, again 70 minus 6 is 64, 70 plus 6 is 76 clear did you understand next is frequency writing the same thing 6, 14, 20, 21, 9 and 5 that is same. Did you understand this? First find the class length that is this minus this will get some h here we got it as 12 then divide it by 2 you will get it as 6 then subtract and add 6 for all the class marks. Okay? See here, the next is 
low less than cumulative frequency after that more than cumulative frequency how do we calculate it how do we do cumulative is for example there is some number adding all next numbers to it okay for example if there is 6 here write the 6 as it is okay now add 14 to 6 how much it will be 20 right again now add 20 to this it will be 40 then add 21 that will be 61 add 9 that is 70 add 5 that will be 75 is that not easy just adding all the numbers first write the 6 as it is then 6 plus 14 then again 20 plus 20 40 plus 21 61 plus 9 70 plus 5 okay that is less than cumulative frequency next is more than cumulative frequency or simply greater than cumulative frequency cumulative is adding one after the other fine more than in the sense just start from here write 5 as it is okay and the next 5 plus 9 14 14 plus 21 how much is it 5 3 okay and the next 35 plus 20 that is 55 55 plus 14 5 plus 4 is 9 5 plus 1 is 6 69 plus 6 is 75 right you understand or else you can simply write 75 here then subtracting 6 subtracting 14 subtracting 20 like that you have to write clear did you understand this is a simple construction of class interval and less than cumulative frequency and more than cumulative frequency is it clear shall we go to the next uh, problem of this let's do look at the question here he is asking to construct class boundaries what are those boundaries till now if there is single number we used to write the number now here just boundaries in the sense what is the number just before one is will not take it as 0 we will take it as 0 0.5 okay just after 3.5 will be I mean 3 will be 3.5 just before 4 will be 3.5 okay between 3 and 4 what is the number we have to tell it as 3.5 that's why we will take the class as 0 0.5 to 3.5 here we'll take the class as 3.5 to 6.5 clear shall we do this uh, problem now see here here we have to write what are class boundaries then again frequencies as it is then again what is it first lcf and the next greater than cumulative frequency okay <coughs> now tell me 0 0.5 to 3.5 after that 3.5 to 6.5 then 6.5 to 9.5 after that 9.5 to 12.5 then 12.5 to 15.5 clear write all the frequencies now 10 12 15, 13 and 9. Now we have to find less than cumulative frequency. How do we do? That is 10 will be as it is and the next 10 plus 12, 22 and the next 22 plus 15 is 37. 37 plus 13, how much is it? 37, 40, 50 and finally it is 59. Okay. Then next we have to write 9 here. 9 plus 13, how much is it? 9 plus 13 is 22, 22 plus 15 is 37, 37 plus 12 how much is it? 9, 4, finally it is 59, clear? Is it uh, easy to do? The only thing is adding everything, clear? What all we learned till now? We learned the basics of mean, median and mode, we solved a few problems on that, then we learned frequency distribution table right how do we write class interval frequency less than cumulative frequency greater than cumulative frequency these are all different things we learned okay and the next what is left what is the chapter name tell me frequency distribution tables and graphs the thing is we have to learn now is graphs how do we draw the graph what are the different types of graphs we have the first basic graph we have is histogram this is what we are going to start now. 
what is this histogram histogram is a type of graph between class interval and frequency okay for example the range from 1 to 3 is 10 from 1 to 3 just we will draw a rectangle shape like this then again 4 to 6 4 to 6 some 12 some 10 okay that is how we will draw a rectangular boxes in order to represent the frequency of a particular class interval clear that is what a histogram okay and the next thing is frequency polygon what is our frequency polygon is just we will take the mid value of a frequency I mean histogram then we will join everything with a graph okay I mean with a scale and after that 9 this will be a simple frequency polygon nothing more than that that is a simple one clear did you understand all this this kind of a problems we'll do in our next session okay what did we learn today we learned writing class intervals and the next class boundaries class length finding okay and the next less than cumulative frequency and greater than cumulative frequency what is that we are going to do in the next session that is drawing graphs of histogram and frequency polygon clear fine this is for today let us meet in the next session with the more problems of the chapter thank you